little has been left for me to say because my colleagues have said almost everything. I think that is to be stated clearly. The refugees must return to Camp Ashraf. And as said, what is Ashton doing? The Americans invaded Iraq and everybody thought that something is going to happen and change, but we see that the government of Iraq is headed by a criminal who cooperates with the Iranian. We must call on Ban Ki-moon to change, to replace Kobler, because as said, Kobler and his wife produce false arguments and news about what is happening there. A conflict of interest. Ban Ki-moon must replace Kobler or the Germans must replace the wife of Kobler. So I think there is uh, not too much to add to what said uh, my friends, uh, Stuart Stevenson, Tuna Kellerman, Richard Farber. I'm very sorry for the situation. And uh, I am really surprised because uh, European Union, United Nations, we are talking 24 hours per day about the respect of human rights. But here the human rights are violated and uh, not respected. And uh, I think uh, we must be much more, much more stronger, much more firm to, to insist uh, to Madam Ashton to take the position of European Union, the position very, very clear. And um, uh, in our mind, I, I can say it, we are with the, with the people in Camp Liberty. Thank you. And I, I really want to say before I leave that I feel responsible for this. I urge these people, based on false information given to me, to leave the relative safety of Camp Ashraf and move to Camp Liberty. And now seven of them defenseless, unarmed civilians who have bravely, who have courageously fought for freedom and democracy in their home country of Iran are now dead and hundreds, over a hundred uh, injured, many of them critically. And I feel personally responsible uh, for that happening. So I want to finish by asking Guterres, will you listen to us for once, for the first time, and move these people back to Ashraf where they can be relatively safe and then get them out of Iraq as quickly as possible. It's very difficult to, to comment, to express. I, I, I want to join uh, Struan Stevenson and my other colleagues in calling all those responsible, especially what we can do here, European uh, institutions, to do whatever is necessary. I'm following this case since terrible tragedy in Camp Ashraf, when defenseless people were facing the barrels of guns from the organized military of Iraq, and all they had were the cell phone with the cameras. And I would never thought we would live this moment again. There were guarantees from United, mighty United States, powerful European Union, in the United States, I, I met the people I know, I know really well. They represent every level of society, government, judges, generals, governors, ministers, everybody, Democrats, Republicans. How come? It's not after days, weeks, months, it's years now since first tragedy happened and we cannot take care of these people. And these, I know something about refugees. I know something about immigrants and immigrants. These people are most valuable people in the world. They are not economic immigrants or, or refugees. They are true refugees. They are highly educated. 
he could be very valuable contributor to any country. I really, I'm really outraged, and, and I will not stop. I have a lot of speeches. I, I, I participate in demonstrations and, and manifestations, and you know, speeches in plenary. But I thought after a few days, weeks, or months, it should be over. It's years now, and how many more tragedies do we need? Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. I think that uh, what has been said and what we have seen is the uh, real terrible things. I came to support the people who have been subjected to the uh, terrible attacks for a long time, and despite uh, all the efforts of uh, us here in the European Parliament and others who sympathize with the fate of the people, I also would like to say that uh, we may, there were mentioned many concrete things which should be done to change uh, this uh, basic condition for normal life. And, uh, it seems that it has not been working so far, because despite all we, our attempts, uh, nothing has changed. I'm afraid that the situation is getting to be, to be worse. So all I can say that we have to intensify, we have to use all our personal contacts to ask the responsible authorities, starting for Ban Ki-moon and Baroness Ashton, and everybody to take these things seriously and uh, contribute to the change of the development of the situation which is developing uh, so far. So I don't want to prolong. I think that everything which has been said here is relevant to the situation and to the future of the situation and to the future of the people in the camp. Thank you. Thank you so much, Edward, and thank you all colleagues for turning up. And uh, we have to end this press conference because our room, uh, our time for the, to use this room is, is, has been ended, but will not disappear, will continue this fight together with our Iranian friends, and we strongly appeal to Baroness Ashton, to United Nations authorities, to the U.S. administration, to take quick actions Im immediately, because time is not to be lost. Thank you.